Okay, so we're live. Hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. How is everybody? Um, we are live. Let me wait for some of the members to join in. So I'll just start the session. Uh, before I start the session, I'll just talk a little bit briefly about what the idea behind the session is. Um, in our culture, especially in our society, when we get to know about our child's diagnosis, that's not the real struggle when it begins. The struggle first begins to find the right person to go to because there's not much professionals over here. And if they are, we don't know if they are the right person for the child. Second struggle is how to bring everyone on the same page. Because in our culture, mostly we are living in joint family systems. And even if not on, in joint family systems, sometimes it's difficult for the wife to bring on the same page, husband be on the same page, the helpers around you, maids who are taking care of the child, how will they provide help? Because when you are dealing with children's special needs, you already have to be careful about how you deal different in, uh, deal with the child. And if everyone is dealing differently, in the end, the child will get confused. Instead of learning, they'll be in dilemma that what is right and what is wrong, and they will not understand in the right way. So that was the idea behind our session. So let me invite uh, our guest, and she will introduce herself and tell her about tell about herself. Hello, Slanikum Faiza. Assalamualaikum. How are you, Tuba? I'm fine. How is everything? Good to Wait, see can you. Can you hear me? Well? Can you hear me? Yes. Well? yes. Okay. Okay. Good to see you as well. Happy to be a part of this. Um, I'm glad to make it. And uh, we delayed the session, but now we are here. So, uh, Faiza, can you introduce yourself uh, to our members? Sure. So as most of you know, my fi my name is Faiza Bhamani. I'm a board certified behavior analyst. I moved to Karachi in 2019, uh, moved back. I went to Dubai for about 12, 13 years. I did my studies there, worked at Carbon Clinic for about five years, which is children with special needs, and uh, then came back here to serve our community. Um, I have my own center in uh, Clifton Block 1, where I do one-on-one -on -one therapy, ABA therapy, where we not only with the ch children, but we also take into account uh, the parents, the grandparents, honestly. I have a few grandparents as well working with me. And um, the maids, who the remedial teachers, OT, speech therapists. So my goal is to bring everyone together so that you know we are all doing the same thing for the child. Instead of doing one thing, I'm doing one thing, and the OT is doing another thing, speech therapist is doing another thing. So my goal is for all of us to do the same thing for the child. So that's why my I collaborate with all of them, and uh, so that we reach a main um, common ground and go about it. And in this journey, obviously, parents, everyone in the family has to be there. So that's why we were discussing with Dubai and I that you know this topic should be included in the in your meeting so that people can know how to actually uh, work with the joint family i mean mostly parents come to me they're like we are doing it but i don't know how to involve other people in the therapy so that's what we're going to talk about today <laughs> yeah and i'm glad we are talking about this because uh, it is a very common problem i think in every household that's the struggle and uh, it's it joint family system can be a blessing and can be a, a, a challenge also so how can we work that together so first of all Faiza, my question is that how and why is this important that everyone should be on the same page including grandparents parents or whoever is in the family um everyone needs to do the same thing because to maintain consistency if i'm doing something for example i'm a mother if i'm doing something and the father is doing something else, how is the child gonna know what's right, what's wrong? And then in result, you're gonna see increased behavior, appropriate, inappropriate behavior, because the child wouldn't know what do I do? Should I listen to mom? Should I listen to dad? Should I listen to grandparents? What do I do? Or should I listen to my therapist? You see, that's why mm -hmm. I don't know how people just work with the kid without involving the family because it's not gonna work in the long run. Even if you might see results one or two days because he's being that way with you, but not with the other people, there's no generalization, see? 
that's why yeah. it's very important okay and i think right now for instance are we are so confused by like keeping covid situation in mind that the government say saying something else the uh, some uh, like professionals are saying something else and we are in the end confused so this is what how children feel when everybody is we are suffering right now right yeah so absolutely you're mm -hmm. right so yeah so uh, first like even parents are in that denial phase when they get to know about their child right and uh, mostly uh, what parents uh, deal with is tuba you're stuck i can't hear you hello 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 i can hear you now can you hear me can you hear me tuba yes 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 i can hear can you hear me yeah i can hear you now yeah so i was saying that uh, even the parents go through that denial phase but how to bring like other family members on this page that there is an issue there is this problem the child is facing and we need to do something about it instead hota hai na ke thode din ruk jao umar ke sath tum tum khud der se bole the theek ho jayega maine uske bacche ko dekha hai usne us school mein dal diya tha to wo khud ba khud hi theek ho gaya to parents pe phir ye pressure aata hai to is cheez ke bare mein what do you have to say um first of all okay first of all um i am not in favor of this idea ke hum aksar bol dete hain we know what to do aapko kuch nahi pata even the family like you know for example i'm mom and i would say to my um the ones that are living in my house that you know what you don't know anything let me just work with my kid i don't want any interference this is not the right approach if you i mean obviously sometimes you know you get frustrated irritated what do i do um but then in the end that's what you do but you what we don't understand is we are actually um welcoming negativity in the house in this way like what yeah. i would do instead is i would tell the grandparent that you know what you do you know more than me how about you do it this way instead of um telling her that you don't know anything you would tell the grandparent that you know what i don't know anything you know most of it how about we try it this way because i have seen so many grandparents ki nahi nahi meri to umar ho gayi hai i need to just wo mujhse jo bhi aake chocolate kuch bhi mangega main de dungi bhalle wo kuch bhi kar raha ho because sab to mujhe de dena hai that's what i hear literally on a daily basis and then parents are like what do we do about this so one thing that obviously every family is different but definitely give it a go uh tell them that um definitely you know better how about aap isko ye karke dikhaye fir aap mujhe bataye mujhe kis tarah manage karna hai to aap unko ye kahe ke um ke you know what aap ye ye try kyun nahi karti ki aap usko bolen ki agar wo ye karega for example if he does the homework with me then you can go to grandma and get this So you know, आपको तो पता है आपके तो कितनी सुनता है इट्स ओनली यू हू कैन चेंज दिस हाउ बट यू ट्राई दिस एंड लेट डू द सेम दिस वे वी आर गिविंग दम द कंट्रोल यू नो समाइम द आर्ग्यूमेंट बिल्ड अप बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट वी आर दी एल्डरली एंड वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द कंट्रोल एंड इन ऑर्डर टू फाइट फॉर दंट्रोलिटी फ्रॉम दम इट्स अंडरस्टैंडेबल ऑल्सो बिकॉज uh they are also right in this way because they have okay. brought they have this experience and uh, the, uh, the wrong part is that yes okay, it won't be applicable on every child what they explained as parent but yes yeah. it, like, and uh, one thing you said was very very uh, important that if you bring negativity in the home and i'll uh, give you one example like even myself when i i stopped interfering with like my son and the grandparents relationship i came into so much peace <laughs> that i i felt relaxed okay this is their time okay. I'll, i'll i'll bring them on the page and it takes time it takes time it's not okay. easy but uh, then Because again uh, every every, every household, household. yeah yeah it's not just yeah, special needs absolutely. it's every household but ye special needs mein thoda sa ye aa jata hai masla ke special needs mein thoda zyada एक्स्ट्रा 
हम कैसे मना करते हैं हम तो मना नहीं उनको लगता है हमारी जितनी जिंदगी है हमें सब कुछ दे देना है दैट्स वॉट दे थिंक जितना हमें रहना है वी वॉन्ट यू नो बिल्ड अ बॉन्ड विद द चाइल्ड एम जिस गिव इट बट आई वुड से डोंट से नहीं जो आप कर रहे हैं वो गलत है देखिए ये हो रहा है आपकी वजह से दिस विल अगेन बिल्ड अप थिंग्स दैट यू डोंट वॉन्ट अ फेस सो दैट जस्ट टेक इट पॉजिटिवली हाँ आपको सब पता है हाउ अबाउट आप ये करें और मैं इसको ये करती हूँ बिकॉज मैं ये तो सुनता नहीं इट्स ऑल यू हाउ अबाउट यू डू दिस एंड देन ऑब्वियसली विल बी कंट्रोलिंग बट दे वु रियलाइज इट सी वर एम से absolutely you are 100% right and what i feel is faiza that um, like my ideology like i am a psychologist myself so i my ideology of the parent is very very different being a little modern being a little open minded and being a psychologist on the cherry on the top which <laughs> which makes my parenting style very different compared to uh, elderly other parents so, but yeah. what is still keeping that in mind i believe that my main therapy for my son is his care grandparents <laughs> yeah, but they need to be like on the same page that we will, yeah. we will the social skills they're going to get the social skills they're going to get from the mm. parents we don't want to you know we don't want to deprive them of that there's one more thing i want to discuss you know how you mentioned that when that was happening in the house you were feeling a little bit um uh like you know low that this has been happening in the yeah. house you know even nobody talks about parents health as well it's not just about getting everyone together even the mom especially she also goes through a lot of process depression sad then there are a lot of things that she goes through but we are also we are always so uh dependent ke bachcha kya kar raha hai parent jo bhi soch raha hai wo sab baad mein ho jayega let's just focus on the child i don't think even that's the right approach we should take into account all the other family members as well if they are not in the right set of mind they are not going to be able to do what you are asking them to do so you know you need to work on their Absolutely. functional activity as well so we work on that as well so yes. so that you know so that i always talk to ask and my parents you know how are you doing what's happening with you mm-hmm. that's also very mm-hmm. important because and and yes and as you said the mother goes through a process and i did and i have seen many other but yes uh sometimes it's easier for some mothers to process the emotions and sometimes it isn't and when the mother is not feeling well uh they can't take care of the child especially with child with special need in the better way which is okay. very important That's so true. uh like it is this question which i'm really really i was eager to ask you the most <laughs> that how differences in the parenting style differences in the family can create that negativity or negative impact on the child okay so i have seen myself like on my clients that if a house of same skills two kids i'll talk about two kids same skill set exactly same honestly same age obviously no child is same but like just skill wise and the level and the age everything is same and they both are uh, non verbal but one kid is just smiling most of the time is uh, uh you know appreciating the things that i was doing more and then was looking at me and then wanted to explore more wanted to play with the mother more and the other one just wanted to sit and then he was hitting he was crying behaviors were like out of the mood like there were so many behaviors that you couldn't tell ki masla kya and then i had to ask the parent what's going on at home and she's like you know what he she's been seeing us fight a lot so when i side fight with my sas when i fight with my husband you know jab main unchi aawaz se baat kar leti hu then wo bhi na mujhe imitate karne lagta hai to maine bola ki this in that you know telling you triggering you ki whatever you're doing in front of him is wrong because that's what he said he wasn't talking but he started saying blabbling blabbering in like high pitch Mm-hmm. you know but he couldn't yes. say but then he was trying to meet it and then he started hitting he started spitting all of that because he must have seen somewhere and hitting not just like you know is tarah hitting maybe he had seen slapping ghar pe to wo slapping karna phone shuru ho gaya and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden these behaviors were appearing and i was like what's going on and then i found out you know he has been seeing these things at home so slowly slowly we started working with the parent ki agar aapko koi gussa bhi aa raha hai so you know try to not show it in front of the child राइट अवे बिकॉज अगर हमें आइडिया नहीं होता कि हम जो बोल रहे हैं वो लोग पिक करें हमें अक्सर लगता है अक्सर पेरेंट्स टेलिंग मी ये कुछ नहीं बोलता इसको कुछ समझ नहीं आता तो कोई टेंशन ही नहीं है 
तो मैंने कहा आपको कैसे पता है कि इसको कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा इवन इफ इज टू ईयर ओल्ड इज नॉन वर्बल लाइक अगर उसको ऑटिज्म भी है अगर वो नॉन वर्बल है अगर वो टू ईयर ओल्ड है स्टिल यू कैन नॉट टेल दैट द चाइल्ड इज नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग ही अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग they are literally and watching even if he's not looking over here like i was really upset and that was just one incident in my experience as a mother and that they changed my perspective that i was low and uh, i had an argument and in front of him and uh, i could see the whole day he was not and my son is a very mashallah happy child he's very happy but that day he he was actually not talking to like not interacting to me he was he is he distant away a little bit and then i saw that because he was feeling insecure that i saw my mother in a different phase and i yeah. he didn't like it so he distanced himself from me and i tried to hug him i tried to bring him back and when he saw that i am back in that happy mode and i am talking to everyone he got so happy <laughs> and he got so excited that was the day that i realized oh my god he understands everything and we don't take into account these things i a lot of parents are like he doesn't make eye contact so means woh samajh nahi aaya eye contact is nothing he can hear you he can listen to you agar kafi bachche ek do mein kaise jo sahi sun nahi sakte hain but even that it doesn't that won't stop them they can read expressions really well some of them like if they're looking at you if you're like angry if you're like happy they can read these simple expressions so when we think ki autistic bachcho ko samajh nahi aati cheeze we are on the wrong i have seen them grooming so well it just they it's all about love if you love yourself honestly you're going to show them if you yeah, don't like yourself the there's something in in within you aap apne ghar wale se sabse upset hain you're going to show the same thing to your child no matter aap kitni bhi therapies help kar de you're not going to reach there if you don't do it to yourself if you don't help yourself nobody's going to help you that's what yeah. Even मेरे क्लाइंट्स भी आते हैं क्वेश्चन आता है फायजा ये मेरे इनबॉक्स में आई थिंक एटी परसेंट बातें इन्हीं सब के बारे में होती हैं कि मैं इन दी एंड अपना एग्रेशन अपने बच्चे पे निकाल रही हूँ या निकाल रहा हूँ या अपनी वाइफ पे निकाल देता हूँ मेरा बच्चा देख रहा है या मैं अपने हस्बैंड पे निकाल देती हूँ और अपने बच्चों पे निकाल देती हूँ बिकॉज मेरा पूरा दिन अपनी मेरी मदर इन लॉ से झगड़ा हो गया या फादर इन लॉ की मुझे कोई बात चुप गई you know is there is and that's the point what you said ki agar hum apne emotion jo emotional regulation ki itni hum log baat karte rehte hain itni important hai we need to stay grounded we need to understand our emotions and take care of it then and only we can understand our children also agreed if our emotions are not sustainable how are we going to teach them anything like just because we are parents we think we know yeah. everything but honestly we are learning in the process Yeah. So I don't blame any parents who literally कभी कभी मेल डाउन हो जाते हैं बच्चों के मेल डाउन होते हैं आई फील लाइक इवन इफ यू आर हैविंग दोज मेल डाउन एंड इफ यू आर यू डोट वॉन्ट योर चाइल्ड टू सी यू लाइक दैट सो मे सो दैट यू डूइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर हजबेंड यू नो सम योर चाइल्ड इज नॉट अराउंड एंड गो टू वन यूर ऑल हैप्पी यू नो एंड इफ यू शो हिम टीच हिम एक्सप्रेशन यू कैन बट देन नॉट वाइल यू एक्चुअली अपसेट just you are pretending to be upset when you are upset you won't be able to teach anyone so teach you know work on yourself first so even agar aise main aapko ek recent i can share experience with you i mean a few months ago like i had this client and then like we saw that there was nothing i couldn't see a lot of changes usually you know what you see changes so i wasn't sure what's triggering this so i spoke to the mom and then the mom is like uh, because ghar mein tum kuch bhi follow hi nahi kar rahe it's all you who's doing it so everything is on you so i'm like how do you expect me to do oh, anything yeah. yeah like how and she's like no wo to jaise aapke paas aa raha hai to hume to kuch nahi karna ghar pe to maine kaha what makes you think that whatever he's doing is here to ye kaise ho sakta she to then all blame went to the grandma and then i said okay how about i mm. speak to the grandma she actually came to my center we spoke we had a very good chat i actually showed her so you know we make books of each kid so every child gets a book and then we record every single thing whatever the child is doing so so that we have a record of everything whatever he did right on a daily basis we graph it um so that i showed her look what how your uh, grandson is doing look at the progress but look it's going the curve is going down aap ye graph dekhiye is graph ke behaviors dekhiye ye niche ho rahe hain upar ho rahe hain ye fluctuate ho rahe hain ye steady nahi hai hmm right and then she said oh why is this happening man because you know he's not getting the same thing at home she said oh no 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 i want to work on this and then you know it just when you explain them in a way that they want to be explained things do work out and then 
we started seeing progress in the child because everybody was doing it. They were making an effort at home as well. Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you heard me, right? Yes, yes, yeah, I heard you. Okay. So after so, I spoke uh, to the grandmom, that's how it worked out. And I'm quite sure that after that, the grandmother also must have understood the importance. And when they see child progressing, of course, they also, in the end, what I believe and what makes myself in, bring myself into peace is that even with the differences, everybody loves that child. They are theirs. Mm -hmm. They're this family. Even with the differences, even if the mother-in-law and you have different ideologies, they will love that child. Hmm. Agreed. So, uh, how can uh, like can you uh, tell us a little bit about Faiza, any any strategies that you think that can bring our, every family member on the same page and a child can also like a family they can have a good time and in the end the child is ha having a good therapy also like you know learning process yeah. also. Yeah. First, I would say <laughs> let's not. Uh, put all the responsibilities um, on one person because if the mom, let's say just for example, if the mom feels that everything is on me, I have to take him to, to the toilet, I have to change him, I have to do this, I have to train him, I have to have table time, you know, all of that is on mom, then obviously she won't be able to hold up to do everything. So I would say first of all, divide the responsibilities mutually. Yes. Uh, let the mom do something, let the dad do something, and then obviously let the grandparents do something uh, as well. Um, they say, you know, play time, social play, or um, if it's treat time, or if you want them to, you know, just play with them. And then after they play, if they're, you know, sitting tolerance, for example, usually what I've been doing is uh, since uh, proper teaching time will be a bit difficult for, for grandparents, so what they do is uh, we've been working on sitting tolerance and waiting skills with okay. one of my clients like with grandparents because they obviously they'd be sitting so what you can do is you can um, put the timer and then have the timer in front of the child and say okay aapke paas ye na 10 minutes hai, and then let's see agar aap, aap, aapki grandmom ke saath ye, aap log ye play karenge, you're going to work together and then if you do that then the grandmom is going to give you a treat right so this way you're working on waiting because he's waiting to get yeah. the treat or whatever, you know, if he, whatever he wants to play with. And they're sitting tolerance as well. Because usually right now, since this quarantine happened, no, nobody wants to sit in the house. They all want to go out. They want to play. They just want screen time, so much screen time. So maybe you can divide it this way. So maybe, you know, they can play with them. So this way, mom also gets her own time. Because I don't, a lot of people say, you you have to spend all your time. I feel like, no, everybody needs their own me time. Everyone on this planet to maintain their sane, their, you know, the sanity. So I feel like, um, so like in that time when they are with their grandparents, they can work on themselves. But they can have their own time. She, she can prepare for whatever she wants to do. The father, on the other hand, maybe, you know, he can take him for a walk or something outside. So he has his own responsibilities. They can shuffle between toilet timings as well. Or, uh, you know, there's no harm in that. Why is mom doing everything? I don't understand. And I feel like I've seen a lot of couples, they are doing it together. And a lot of couples, they don't. So I feel like, why is that? It's not that in Pakistani community. A lot of people work differently. So I feel like if you just change your perception a little bit in your house, things work out instead of going towards the typical uh, mentality. And then if you have your own rules set up for all of you, and then obviously arguments will happen. Every In every household, there will be arguments, there will be uh, disagreements, but that doesn't mean that we can't, you know, Go surpass it. We can easily. So what we can do is, if something is happening, that you are saying that we are doing something, our grandparents are doing something, someone doesn't Then what you can do is definitely communicate with each other instead of keeping it in your heart. That no, he said. He said, "I will not talk about it. He will not go to the top. I will not go to the top. Anything will happen. This thing I have seen. So I think that you can do it. 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 Upper to tumme, yeah, you know, kahi beef, upper niche ghare, just typical. I'm just telling you from my head, ke ye hai to aapko wahan jana hi nahi hai because you know this is what's been happening. So you are actually teaching the child something that yeah. you shouldn't be learning at this time, you know. And if you're gonna yeah. put these things in his 
head, then he's going to be learning these things, which is obviously you don't want that. Then what you are teaching, what is the benefit? Instead of doing this, but I know from behavioral therapy that, and this thing, when I learned from my son's behavioral therapist, also, which I have myself studied. कि मैं जब मैंने शुरुआत की थी तो होता है ना जब एक्साइटमेंट के आपके बेटे में चेंज एंड ए बी ए हैज बिन लाइक दी टू लाइक होता है हिट आयरन व्हेन इट्स हॉट वाला इट हैज वर्क्ड लाइक मैजिक ऑन माय सन माशाल्लाह सो व्हेन इट स्टार्टेड I was so happy कि ओके अब सब ऐसे चल रहा है अब हम ऐसे जा रहे हैं अब ये नेक्स्ट स्टेज है यूं होगा यूं होगा और मैं कोई इंपरफेक्शन होने नहीं दे रही थी तो जब ये डिफरेंसेस आ रहे थे उसकी थेरेपी में मैं बहुत एंशियस हो जाती थी कि अब मैं अब मैं खुद भी जॉब कर रही हूँ क्या मेरे जॉब के पीछे वही चीज हो पा रही है कि नहीं क्या मैं जब नहीं हूँ घर पे या कहीं भी और तो आई रिमेम्बर मेरी जो बिहेवियर थेरेपिस्ट है उन्होंने कहा कि आई थिंक दिस इज अ गुड थिंग फॉर योर सन दैट ही विल अंडरस्टैंड टू एट जस्ट इन डिफरेंट सिनारी ही विल नेवर गेट दी परफेक्ट सिनारी ऑल द टाइम ही नीड्स टू जनरलाइज हिज लर्निंग इन अदर डिफरेंट सेटिंग ऑल्सो and this is the right time to see if he is able to generalize your teaching when he is when you are not there and then i became so relaxed that okay i will make him learn because agar hum bhi kahin jate hain hum school mein pure 24 hours to nahi baithe rehte hum wahan se leke aate hain and then we apply it in our daily life and that is what i think aba teaches the child to generalize their learning and to apply it in different settings and i think differences yeah. in the family mere nazar mein different scenarios hain for my child and i test him that is he able to do it sometimes he doesn't he's a kid let him not do and let yeah. him not follow the routine that's fine mm. and uh, when he does that's where i believe ke everybody understood ke okay uh, jaise tuba ne kaha tha agar humne bhi waise hi kar diya to dekho isne yu sikha Hmm. You know, so telling the blunt you know unko aapke actions se sikha de experiment kar de ke dekhen this work this didn't work but instead of telling them ke aapne jo kya wo nahi kiya you're just telling them ke aap bhi apna kariye ye bhi kariye but dekhen results kya aa rahe perfect we done it perfectly tuba <laughs> that's so cool and i i'm so amazed that ab helped you and i really want to obviously raise awareness about ab therapy as well whether you go to any yes. behavior analyst it's just going to i i would say it's just a very positive therapy you know it's just going to yeah bring about a lot of positiveness in your family in your child and uh, you'll see differences i wouldn't say aapko bachcha you'll change jayega nahi you'll see differences that's what i can tell you and every bachcha react in a different way but mm-hmm. this at home what you can change you can do it without any help you can do it yourself and again i think faiza what you said is very important because ye maine ye mere us सन की थेरेपिस्ट ने भी मुझे बोला था कि ये इसलिए जल्दी सीख रहा है क्योंकि जो मैं आपको बता रही हूँ आप वो घर पे कर रहे हैं ये वाली जो बात थी ना ये बहुत पेरेंट्स करते हैं कि मैं आपको जा रहे हैं ना थेरेपिस्ट के पास तो मैं पैसे क्यों दे रहा हूँ मैं क्यों अपना टाइम जाया कर रहा हूँ ये तो उनकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है वो सिर्फ फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स टू वन आवर के लिए जा रहा है एक दिन या फिर तीन दिन चले बस बाकी दिन वो हमारे साथ है वी नीड टू यूटिलाईज दैट ये चीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि सारी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी थेरेपिस्ट की भी नहीं है ये भी एक है एक इशू है अच्छा फायजा वट हैपन्स जब आप एक चीज एक तरीके से बच्चे को सिखाना चाहो मगर पेरेंट्स ही ना चाहें कि नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता कि ये वर्क करेगा ऐसा होता है क्योंकि ये पेरेंट्स की भी तो आइडियोलॉजीज बहुत डिफरेंट होती हैं um... It has happened a million times, honestly, in Dubai and over here. I feel like यहाँ पे ज़्यादा देखा है मैंने Dubai से comparison में. But मुझे नहीं लगता इसमें कोई गलत बात है. I feel like everybody should have their own uh, objectives. अगर उनको कोई चीज़ सही नहीं लग रही है, तो वो बोल सकते हैं. I think there's no harm in it. What is our? Uh, but I never just say कि आपको कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा, आपको नहीं पता, तो मैं आपके बच्चों के काम नहीं कर सकती. I have never said that. What I do instead is um i honestly have uh, brought alternative methods how about okay then if you don't think that we should work this way how about we do it this way or phir maybe phir, and then if she has obviously if she has issues on that method as well then we would say okay so how about we try both and see what works slowly mm-hmm. slowly and aap bhi dekhiye aapke liye kaun sa easy because agar main kuch complex kuch treatment plan bana do which i which i think they won't be able to follow at home what's the point so i have to make sure that it has to be basic so that they can you know follow step by step so what i do is when we make a treatment plan i make sure that they she the parent first observes me in the session how i am doing it 
and then if she thinks that okay i can do this oh i can't do this oh i can do this and whenever she tells me if i said this is a bit difficult i don't think i can do it I'm like okay how about you do it this way how about you do it and then you do it with me and i can tell you give you feedback right away this yeah. is right or not and then she does it at home and then she would take videos and then we would say okay fine yeah this mm-hmm. is going well how about aap isko ye kare instead because mujhe nahi lagta ki session se agar even mere bachche bhi kafi clients ek ghante ke liye agar aate hain but that's not just it i would if they go home i would be like okay so how did he do all day did he do mm-hmm. this did he do that show me the video so you know we are in contact so i feel like even uh, even agar parents ghar chale bhi jate hain that doesn't mean that therapists are not there for you they are there for you whenever you need them so just you know message them ask them what is this and any therapist who is obviously jo loyal apne work ki taraf we have been we, we it is our ethical responsibility to be there for the client whenever they want and bas bhai um, ye jo aapne bola hai na who are loyal to their work mm. that is the problem <laughs> yahan jo hai na ye bahut kami hai मैं जो मेरी स्ट्रगल थी ना जैसे मैंने अपने इंट्रो ऑफ द लाइफ सेशन में कहा कि पहली स्ट्रगल थी उन सही लोगों से मिलना लोगों की कमी नहीं है मैं गूगल करूंगी और मुझे दस सही लोगों की कमी के नाम और दस ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरेपिस्ट के नाम और हजारों क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजिस्ट के नाम मिल जाएंगे जो यहाँ एक ही शहर में काम करें मगर आप जाके सिर्फ उनसे बेसिक बात करके देखें आप सिर्फ उनसे उनकी डिग्री पूछ लें बस वहीं पे आपको पता चल जाता है कि आपने अगर मैंने किसी से पूछ लिया कि आपने क्या पढ़ा हुआ है बस वहीं पे आपने क्या क्यों पूछ लिया यू नो थ्रेटन ये लॉयल हमारी डेजिग्नेशन के बारे में जान के आप क्या करेंगे आपको भरोसा नहीं हम पे यू नो थिंग्स लाइक दैट थोड़ी प्रोफेशनलिज्म यहाँ बहुत कम है तो मेरा But जो क्या यार बट यू नो इन जुबाई लाइक आई रिमेम्बर वेन आई वॉज वर्किंग इन कार्बोन क्लिनिक because i look really small right so like a lot of uh, a lot of times i was asked i mean every therapist was asked but like there was a client of mine she asked me to beta like you know what have you studied so i told her and then she said oh okay you look very small you know for your age and for what you've done i'm like hmm, doesn't matter but then over here as well even if when the clients come i because we've got degrees and everything so i tell them do you know anything about myself let me give you an intro about myself and let me tell you what i've done and then decide and then i wouldn't say just go with me i would say talk to all the behavior therapists whoever you want to talk to and then make an informed decision i wouldn't say no you got to come to me you know because that's yeah. like that's not that's not voluntary so you they should meet more people make an informed decision that aapko sabke bare mein pata chal jaye and then you know okay this is where i want to go I wouldn't say any. This is where it is. You will not get any results. Nahi milenge, because that's not true. So there are so many good people here, yeah. talented Absolutely. people in Karachi. But obviously, you wouldn't know who is not. Yeah, that's a struggle. 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 On cherry on top are the differences in the family. या तो husband time नहीं दे पा रहा है क्योंकि यहाँ पे एक चीज बहुत common है फायदा के husband sponsor कर रहा है यही उसकी बहुत बड़ी ज़िम्मेदारी है. Oh yes, <laughs> that I've learned here. ये तो माँ ने सिखाना है तो ये जो issue है how do how should they handle this and how this impacts the child's behaviour? That is true because I have seen it here a lot and um, there is one thing. which i have done so like ek dafa ek parent came to me and she's like hey, uh, maine ka uh, does he spend time with his dad because i had never seen the father so i i asked her does he spend time with his father because i feel like that that bond he should definitely have so wo to phir raat mein aate hain phir wo aake so jate hain ye subah mein school chala jata hai to koi time hi nahi hai jisme ye kar sakte hain to maine bola don't you think it's necessary though so she is like bas wo pay kar dete hain i think kafi hai aap ab us mere sath hi kaam kar le and then i did feel and then what we do is um every time every like um six weeks or so hum ek uh, report dete hain to i would want the parent and the, both the parents to come and then see so i would tell them this is what we have done this is the uh, improvement this is the books so jis tarah you know i told you we graph everything and we write everything down so that's why we have it ke within these six weeks kya kya improvement aayi hai kya kya cheeze usne ki hai to i would discuss that other than this topic uh, what i love about aba is इतना एविडेंस बेस्ड काम होता है जो लोगों ने नहीं स्टार्ट किया अपने बच्चों के लिए प्लीज करें 
आपको एग्जैक्टली ग्राफिकल मुझे तो ग्राफ्स मिल जाते हैं ना मुझे तो मुझे एग्जैक्टली exactly पता इतना अच्छा तरीका है ये पता करने का कि पता चल जाता है बच्चा कब क्या ट्रिगर्स हैं कहाँ वो काम नहीं कर पा रहा क्या नेक्स्ट गोल होना चाहिए तो बहुत एक तो बच्चा वेरी चाइल्ड सेंटर्ड अप्रोच है विच इज देर इज नो लाइक इट इज सो एविडेंस बेस की एकदम सामने आपके सच क्या है और वो क्या है तो ये नहीं है कि थेरेपिस्ट अपनी तरफ से बहुत बढ़ा चढ़ा के बोलते हैं बिहेवियरल थेरेपिस्ट एग्जैक्टली वही बोलते हैं जो बच्चे के साथ है and like a heavy thing is recorded right but you know there are a lot of myths here about behavior therapy aap se behavior pe kaam karti hain phir and according to a lot of people behavior is inappropriate behavior which is crying whining agar unko lagta hai ki behavior therapist se ek usi behavior pe kaam karegi let me just clarify this one me talking right now this is my behavior you listening this is your behavior me moving my hand my gestures this is my behavior me talking every single thing is behavior whatever we do is our behavior behavior is not just crying whining or inappropriate behavior that's inappropriate behavior this is appropriate yeah. behavior so behavior therapy works on first behaviors obviously as well inappropriate behaviors too it works on communication hum communication mm. pe hamara sabse zyada focus hota hai because agar aapki communication nahi hai to you will see automatically behaviors increasing because if the child is not able to communicate with you behaviors will increase and the child will is able to communicate with you the behavior will decrease so it's like you know parallel communication is very important and then obviously we work on behavior and all of that is included so they get the motor imitation motor skills because that's also a part of behavior therapy we also work on motor skills so all of this comes under behavior therapy just wanted to you know say it out loud since you also get take ab therapy so you know a lot about it as well so i'm glad you know you're able to raise that awareness about it so people yes, in karachi exactly. would know when uh, when uh, pfizer the, the main uh, my mission to start the page was so that people would know basically what these therapies mean and what is the main target how do they work and who are doing the right work that is what my target was because i have gone through that so i know how difficult this is to understand to apply and to like you know the implication part is very important acha pfizer though you said about communication keeping uh like like usually therapies english based hoti hain autistic bacche bahut english words aur isko apply karte hain lekin hamari families mein har koi english to bolta nahi hai bilingual hai zyada even agar urdu hai to bahut sare families mein sindhi aur any other bhi boli jati hai to is how will that affect will that either affect negatively or positively and why okay so i have a really good example to share about this one of my clients uh, speak only pashto and i have no clue what pashto is <laughs> and uh, i'm like okay and then she was very eager to start the process but the child she's obviously quite young but she would only understand pashto and she would only speak a few words of pashto that's it and then not even urdu like i can still speak urdu but like pashto i have no idea about mm-hmm. so first of all what i did was instead of just saying कोई थेरेपिस्ट अगर बोलते नहीं फिर तो मुझे आता ही नहीं कुछ काम ही नहीं होगा आपको तो सिर्फ इंग्लिश ही करानी दैट इज नॉट द राइट वे व्हाट यू शुड डू इज आप पहले तो पेरेंट्स से पूछेंगे जो जो वर्ड्स द चाइल्ड इज ऑलरेडी सेइंग व्हाट डज दैट मीन सो आई हैड रिटन दोस पश्चो वर्ड्स एंड द मीनिंग्स तो उसको बोलते क्या है राइट नाउ व्हेन आई नो द मीनिंग सो व्हेन इन द सेशन व्हाटएवर शी इज सेइंग आई कैन टेल ओके दिस इज व्हाट शी मींस एंड देन व्हाट वुड आई डू इज मैं उस वर्ड को टच नहीं करती थी देयर इज नो पॉइंट अगर वो घर में वही वर्ड बोलने वाली है तो मैं क्यों उसको उसी ऐसे अगर वो वाटर को पश्चो में कुछ कह रही है तो मानी आई थिंक इट्स मानी आई डोंट नो आई 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 चेक माय नोट्स एक्चुअली लर्निंग द लैंग्वेज सो सो इफ शी सेइंग वाटर वट एवर द वर्ड शी सेइंग फॉर दैट आई वुडंट टीच अ वाटर ऑनेस्टली बिकॉज शी नोज हाउ टू आस्क फॉर वाटर इफ आई से नो यू टू से वाटर नो दैट्स नॉट राइट बिकॉज आई नो अगर मैं उसको थेरेपी अब मैं सेंटर भी सिखा भी दू ना कि इसको मानी नहीं वाटर कहते हैं वो घर जाके उसको फिर से वही कहना है बिकॉज पेरेंट्स आर नॉगन री इनफोर्स वाटर बिकॉज दे आर सो यूज टू सेंग दिस वर्ड दैट्स हाउ शी लर्न इट राइट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ री टीचिंग और अर्न लर्निंग दैट द थिंग दैट शी कैन एक्चुअली से इट राइट एंड इट डज मीन इट डज मीन समथिंग ऐसा नहीं कि वो कुछ भी नहीं है वो वर्ड का मतलब है कुछ किसी और लैंग्वेज में तो जो वर्ड उनको ऑलरेडी आते हैं सेम लैंग्वेज में एंड द पेरेंट्स कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट शी इज एबल टू कम्युनिकेट ही और शी इज एबल टू कम्युनिकेट दैट वर्ड आई वुड नॉट चेंज इट बट आई वुड डेफिनेटली यूज डिफरेंट वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश सो दैट नाउ शी स्टार्टेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इंग्लिश ऑफ यू इट्स सेट क्लैप यू नो दीस थिंग नाउ शी स्टार्टेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इंग्लिश सो द न्यू थिंग्स दैट आई एम टीचिंग आर ऑब्वियसली आर इन इंग्लिश बट देन आई हैव टू डेफिनेटली इन्वॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ उर्दू 
I wouldn't say a lot of things in English because then I don't want to confuse the child. Slowly, slowly, I'm bringing in English words, but then medium is also Urdu, and I would keep up the Pashto words that she's saying. I would keep those the way they are, and then I wouldn't touch them because otherwise she's not going to say that word, and she's not going to say the English word, and she might not even say it at all. She's like, okay, yeah. they don't understand. I don't want to put more effort. Let me just not just have it. Yeah, that can yeah. also happen, right? So I would, if this means something in your language, let me just clarify. If that word means something in your language, something that she's saying, don't te- try to teach in some other language. Obviously, if the ha- the child has speech delays, I wouldn't. So try that. So if you like work for in this example, how are you training the parents to handle this situation at home? uh so like i would so usually what i've done is um so obviously she has a command a in pashto for sure but she also knows english so she's like um obviously it's two more kids right so the kids would speak to her uh in urdu but they know english as well so i told her why don't you ask your kids the older ones to speak to her in english slowly slowly one word because taki ghar mein bhi aapko wo wala environment mile so instead of just me teaching her these words over here How about आप भी घर में उसको आपके अगर इफ यू डोंट नो इंग्लिश डजेंट मैटर आप अपनी बेटी को एक दिन ले आए शी ब्रॉट हर ओल्ड डॉटर एंड देन आई काइंड ऑफ यू नो शोड हर हाउ वी आर डूइंग एंड ओके आई यू डू इट एट होम शी या आई कैन डू दिस आई कैन आस्क टू क्लैप आई कैन आस्क टू दिस टू दैट इन इंग्लिश एंड देन शीज बिन डूइंग एट होम सो आई कुड सी द डिफरेंस अदरवाइज जब मैं सिर्फ अकेली कर रही थी तो देर वर स्लो देर वर स्लो इम्प्रूवमेंट आई फील लाइक जब ये हुआ तो ऑब्वियसली अगर मॉम नहीं कह सकती तो आप किसी और Low can involve Karen, so I involved the daughter, and then she could speak English. I couldn't, I wouldn't just expect her to say all the words. But Jojo words, man, man, could show you. See, I am doing this way. You sit here. Look at me how I am doing, and then you know I am going to teach you how to do it as well. Instead of just expecting, I am not going to just expect her to do whatever I am doing. I am going to make sure that she comes, looks at me, and then does it. Instead of me just telling the mom, "You have to do this for your daughter." That's not going to work. You have to make sure that you put in the effort that you want to see as well from the child. So this is how it's been, and then I would accept the Pashto word that makes sense. If water makes sense in that language, I wouldn't change it. But yeah. just that. And I think this uh, helps uh, in families who, for instance, uh, mother, father both are working, and the child is uh, left with someone uh, who takes care of it, like not the family member, but any kind of a maid or helper. So I believe I like my uh, my son has a an helper, and my helper now knows many of the English words. What do you mm-hmm. want? go and get this pick it up you know what how to so say <laughs> feel so energetic about it they're so motivated okay are we are also learning english now all of me may, our maids have learned few words of english so you know when you involve and when you praise someone that they have done something in the process yeah they appreciate you and when you appreciate yeah. them oh wow aap kitna acha bol rahe hain that's awesome when they want to do it more everybody needs appreciation like the kids so i feel like aba works in every way <laughs> Absolutely, I agree with that. So, uh, mm-hmm. other than that, Faisal, will you like suggest any uh, strategies? Like you have, of course, have suggested any other if you have in mind keeping uh, grandparents, especially because in our joint family system, mostly it's grandparents uh, who gives the little uh, like the conflict between the parents and the grandparents is actual the main struggle. Hmm. Hello. Do I you're stuck? I don't know if you can hear me. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Were you able to hear me? I can hear you now. You said to have to elaborate a little bit more about strategies, right? Like I I said that main, the main conflict over here is between usually in the joint family system is between parents and grandparents. If I hmm. be very specific mother and the mother-in-law so what do you yeah. strategies can help bring them closer and being more empathetic towards each other and then eventually i think if that happens the child is going to progress very very much so do you have any those kind of strategies sure um a few things that i've already talked about and then i'm going to talk about a few more first definitely make sure that you're communicating um instead of telling one that you are wrong or you're right make sure that you all you know if you know that they are not in that phase that they're going to learn they're going to understand a lot of things and but you are in that phase that you can understand and you can let things go then be the bigger person and tell them okay you know better how about we do it this way or aap dekhein isse hota hai ki nahi unko in charge dein first try this secondly um i would say also divide your responsibilities third yeah. another one you can do is making schedules 
So this I've actually tried and it has worked wonders. What you can do is make the schedule with the child and with the grandparents together. So like what you would do it is you would take a chart paper, you would like take pictures, print off the internet. And then what you do is, okay, so let's put our, what are we gonna do in the morning? Are we gonna have breakfast? Okay, let's put our breakfast. They ask your grandma, what does she wanna do after that? And then she's gonna tell you what does she want, what does she wanna do with the child after breakfast? And then one activity she's gonna do after breakfast, right? And she sticks it. So she's like, okay, I'm involved. After breakfast, okay, what's grandpa gonna do with you? Let's ask him and then he's gonna, you're gonna give him like a few options. Aapko ye karwana, aapko ye karwana. And then maybe the child can choose, I wanna do this with the grandpa and the grandpa can choose that. And then, you know, they all stick that together. And then later on, okay, it's lunchtime. Are we all gonna have lunch together? So maybe you can ask grandpa, everybody in the house, who do you wanna have lunch with, you know? And then maybe, you know, he can say, okay, I wanna have everyone, I want everyone on the table with me. So you can like put a picture of lunch and then uske baad, table time, obviously study time so are we going to study and then obviously make sure that when you're putting the study time you have something after that that he wants to have okay so after study time we're going to have this so how long are we going to and you can keep increasing the duration every single day so you can stick like the study time and then right away you have to reinforce it well so make sure that you give him whatever he wants to get and then um screen time i would say a lot of Parents have been asking me about screen time, kitna screen time hona chahiye, kitna nahi hona chahiye, kitna appropriate hai, kitna nahi hai. In quarantine time, a lot of people are giving like more than half an hour, which is not preferred, honestly. If you can do anything yeah. else, yeah. like uh, arts and craft or, you know, painting, or there's so many things, or reading a book, or um, a lot of, or, you know, playing with the grandparents, if you can do that, I would say 15 minutes won't harm, but if you want to give it, um, after table time right away, if you want to reinforce 15 minutes, that's fine. Do that and then later on dinner, everybody comes together and then arts and craft time. In arts and craft time, if you have something else to do, maybe you know you want to wash dishes or you want to do folding, you know, a lot of things that you want to do at a house. So if you want to do that, make sure your father is involved, make sure the grandpa. So give everyone responsibility so you have time to do whatever you want to do as well. Instead of you saying, Ki, Mujhe har rehna hai, you're not going to be able to do it. It's going to be emotionally draining for you physically and emotionally draining for you. So make sure that when you're distributing responsibilities, trust them what you're doing. And then if you see that they're not following whatever you want them to do, then see, um, Try it this way. Giving them the just, authority also, but authority. you are actually making the plan. Yeah, and then how about we plan it? So, you know, you're working with the you're working the plan with the therapist and then you're going to do it this way. Just you're changing your words, but it's just going to create a positive environment in the house, which Absolutely. you want, obviously. So you can Absolutely. try it. Excellent. I think, and I love that chart example that you said. And this is so lovely. And I think this is will... Uh, first, it is giving the authority to the grandparents that they can. They're all involved. Mm. Yeah, they all are involved, and they are all together. Like mm. it's like a family pro project. So this that's lovely. I really hope if my members would do. There is one of uh, a question I would uh, just uh, show on the screen that if there's an aggression is ruling in a family from grandparents, how can we help them through ABA or any other therapy? Aggression is like they are maybe. Uh, the aggression is because they think that it's you're not going through their way you're making your own way they're not involved they're not they don't have any control over and then you know you're distancing the child or whatever maybe they are if they the child cries too much they're like okay i don't want to talk because i would say ki hamesha grandparents har koi itna involving nahi hota there are a lot of grandparents who don't want to involve themselves they're like ye bahut rota hai isko bas de to jo karna hai main ja raha a lot of people do that as well like they're both sides to it. Many get the her grandparents can involve one up or you know, they are always the the ones that have to deal with everything. No, a lot of them they're like name which is a brash nika na mere room me jayo tumhe joke nahi karo. There are a lot of grandparents who do that as well. So I feel like if that happens, that let them be if they don't want to. But then maybe send your child to them. Okay, ask them. Okay, would you play with me? I want to do this with you. You know, so maybe ask the child to go and do it and make sure you give the activity as well, what you want to give them. So I feel like aggression, it slowly calms down. It's not going to just go right away. If you have tried it, it's not going to go right away. If it's time to build up, it's going to take time it's going to take time to calm down as well. So I would say use these strategies like a schedule or, you know, 
first of first of all now you're telling it the behavior but i would want to know what's triggering that behavior what kya cheez trigger kar rahi hai aggression so first we need to solve that aggression maybe jo cheez trigger kar rahi hai to hum uske hisab se hum consequence change karenge apna right instead of hum just say aggression change nahi kar sakte hum dekhenge what's triggering the aggression and then how can you respond to that aggression because every response is different according to the function so first yeah. we'll find, find find that out and then when you do these strategies you're going to see a positive environment in the house and aggression will automatically decrease but you have to put a lot of effort in instead of just thinking ki sab theek ho jayega bas khud hi ho jayega nahi you have to put your effort in and then things will get better you have to make sure that you communicate first start communicating with them okay what's there kya hai kya cheez so fir aap log milke come into uh, come into the common ground but communicate kaam shuru karte hain to aapki jo lack of communication hai wo bhi miss and miss communication this is standing ho jati hai yes बिल्कुल आई थिंक इन दी एंड मुझे लगता है कि हम ये रियलाइज नहीं करते हैं कि लेकिन ये जो चिल्ड्रन है ना यही एक्चुअली वजह है और मोटिवेशन है टू स्टे टूगेदर एज अ टीम बिकॉज इट टेक्स अ विलेज टू रेज अ चाइल्ड दैट्स व्हाट आई बिलीव इन आई बिलीव इन टीम वर्क एंड अगर आप अकेले ये करने चलेंगे स्पेशली जो मदर्स हैं क्योंकि ये मुझ में भी आया था फेस ये मैं कर लूंगी ये मुझे खुद करना है ये मुझे अकेले करना है नहीं हो सकता दैट्स इन रैशनल ये कभी भी अकेले की but the especially when you are dealing with children special needs it's draining emotionally draining you don't know what you're going to end up with you don't know yes aur phir mothers jo hai na wo apni sari um, uh, emotions apne bacche pe impose kar deti hai ki agar mera bachcha by the end of the day something is to learn something and if he is successful then i am a successful mother if my child is not able to do something i am a not a good mother and then many relationships affect hoga i will start blaming एवरीवन एल्स इन द फैमिली देखो उसने ऐसे किया था ना देखो उसने ये सिखा दिया मेरे बच्चे को देखो hmm. उस दिन वो ऐसे कर रहा था ना मेरी तो मेहनत बेकार चली गई तो ये सारी चीजें ना वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि ये चीजें होंगी बच्चा जब बड़ा होगा और वो बाहर निकलेगा तो उसको हर जगह आप साथ तो नहीं होंगे ना उसको अच्छे लोग बुरे लोग डिफरेंट लोग मिलेंगे जिसमें आपकी लर्निंग अप्लाई होगी सो डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस बिल्कुल so thank you so much faiza for giving so much time and uh, i think what you have given these strategies i have personally loved it and i'm sure the <laughs> members ki zarur apply karenge and uh, thank you so much and i loved what you have said and i'm sure people will have uh, very much uh, like i i hope unko wahi clarification thodi thoda acha laga hoga ke hum har koi is cheez se guzarta hai sirf एक and let me know just leave me a message and i'll be there for sure you know i'll be able to help you in some way or the other thank you so much for having me okay mm. thank you faiza take care take care bye so that was uh, uh, faiza and i'm quite sure she is a bcba behavioral certified behavioral analyst and i'm sure ke uh, by what she said what we discussed it would have helped you in uh, some way that uh understanding this ke you are not alone in this journey please don't make yourself and put yourself into a position because i have done it as a mother so i know and being a psychologist myself so i can understand ke how mothers deal with this and, and it's okay sometimes uh, uh we put ourselves in the spotlight of blaming ev- ev- everything on our keep everything on our shoulders that we are going to do that but in the end it's all about team work it's all about understanding always understand that even if you don't have a good relationship with your in-laws or anyone in the family try and understand that they are important right now for your child they are important for your child's progress so you need them even if you don't want them you need them you need them to have be in the child they are in the child's environment you you can't have control over that what you can have control over is your own emotions what you can have control is on your own reaction so try practicing that slowly gradually agar koi baat achhi nahi lag rahi koi baat hazm nahi ho rahi koi baat nahi let it go in the end 
आपकी मेहनत रायगा नहीं जाएगी अगर आप डेडिकेटेड हैं आपकी नियत आपकी परसिस्टेंस है तो इट विल शो इन योर चाइल्ड अरे ये मैं अपने एक्सपीरियंस से कह रही हूँ आई एम नॉट से ये मैंने पढ़ा है किसी किताब में आई एम सेंग इट बिकॉज आई डन इट I am also living in a joint family system, and we all have different perspective. So please, please uh, understand that, and, and I hope that you will get a lot of help from this session. And uh, 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 those who couldn't join in, it will be on my page. I'll share the YouTube link also in a, in an hour or so, and so you can share it. Please do because this is something that everybody needs to know, and everybody needs to listen. and i will uh, with the description i'll uh, add uh, details about pfizer so if you want to approach her and she uh, gives telehealth uh, sessions also telehealth means online sessions so if you want that for your child so please do contact her she is a very good behavioral therapist and i'm glad that she was part of my um, page and she is some and uh, If you have any question, you can post it on my page also, and I'm going to tag her. If you can't find her page, but I'm going to share the link uh, to her profile so you can approach her uh, personally. So hopefully this would have been a good session, uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, Allah.